I'm gonna have to go with Gabriel Savage on this one. edition of Jofo in the Ring, and yes, my name is Frank Jofo, and we have a special guest, one of my picks to win Lit Academy this year, 2023, the Savage, Gabriel Savage. What's going on, brother? I Not too much, man. Thanks for having me. No problem, no problem. I, I've been watching Lit Academy. It's been two years now. I'm participating this year as a ring announcer, and this year, you are on top of the, your game. Can you tell us what your expectations are this year and how excited are you to be in the second round of Lift Academy? Oh, man, I'm I'm really excited, you know, because it, it's a first for me. Uh, you know, I was not there last year. And so this year I was just looking for experience, you know, because I've only been in the wrestling business for over one year right now. Okay. So, yeah. I was just looking for experience, but the fact that my first match on uh, the quarterfinal with uh, Kyle Zachary went so good, now I'm, I'm just really excited for the semifinal, and I'm looking forward to go to the finals uh, as well. Well, you fought uh, Kyle Zachary in the first round, a tough, a tough competitor. He was in the semifinal last year versus Jeremy Prophet in one of probably the best matches of the tournament. Um, can you describe your experience with wrestling Kyle Zachary, knowing that he was there last year, so very close of winning Lit Academy? Oh man, I was at first I was really nervous, you know, because uh, like you have all those years of experience. Like you said, the match with the German Prophet last year was so good. I watched it, well, I watched it uh, online maybe like five times before the quarterfinal, <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, <laughs> it's gonna be a tough one, but. Kyle was so fun to work with. He's such a nice guy as well. So I'm really happy that the match went the way it went. Um, your background's in MMA. Uh, what I've read uh, very closely, you have three black belts. Uh, yep. What got you into professional wrestling, uh, guy, uh, Gabe? Well, pro wrestling was my first big dream when I was a kid. But around here in New Brunswick, in the Acadian Peninsula where I live, there's no wrestling training, you know. I had to go to Halifax for four months every weekend. I had to quit my job for four months to go train there to become a pro wrestler. Wow. So when I was a kid, it was not a possibility. But after all those years, right now I'm 29 years old. So after all these years, uh, I just, I was starting to get like, I don't know how to say it in English, but the fire inside me was burning like it's now or never you know i'm 29 i don't want to wait till i'm 39 so i just decided to go live the dream and right now i'm i'm on my peak you know and uh jacques rougeau was telling me that uh you've uh you have a, a mma school as well uh back home uh, can you talk yeah, to us a little bit about that I, that's where i am right now <laughs> okay okay can you tell us a little bit about that uh, okay yeah i started teaching mma four years ago in my little shed at home okay. with maybe 20 people maximum. After that, it was it was really doing good. So I moved to another place. And after that, I opened another place where I am right now. And I have over uh, 100 students in all my the class that, that we do we do wow. here. Uh, may, will we ever see anybody from your school in the UFC one day? I hope so. I have yeah. a lot of good students. Uh, a lot of good kids that me. I have a girl training here. She's just 12 years old. She's been with me for four years, and wow. she's a she's a machine, man. I can't I can't even put her with girls because she's too dangerous. I have to put <laughs> her with, with boys older than her, and wow. she's still winning. So it's it's crazy. She have a lot of potential. Um, we know Jacques Rougeau is the uh, founder of Lift Academy. Um, he's been a big help for Canadian wrestlers all around Canada. And especially here in Quebec, what is what is the inspiration for Jacques Rougeau, and what has he done to help you further your career in professional wrestling? He's such a good mentor, you know, because every time I have a question or I'm not sure about something, or if he I'm doing something maybe the wrong way, he will call me and just give me like a guidance, like he's trying to help me to get better and just to 
be on the, on the right path. So I'm I'm really happy to have John in my corner, if I can say that like that. Okay. And the first round, we had QT Marshall. Uh, the second round, uh, you unfortunately, you didn't get to see Ray, Raymond Rougeau um, yeah. uh, give you the, the judging uh, analysis. But you had QT Marshall. You got picked by QT Marshall in the first round. How did it feel to wrestle in front of QT Marshall, who is who is involved in AEW, and especially he's involved in the Nightmare Factory, where uh, the winners will be uh, training there for three months? To be honest, during the match, I was not thinking about it at all because I really wanted to be focusing on the moment. But when I saw his face on the big screen, I was like, holy shit, it's right now. You know, my heart started to beat and I was nervous. But just the, the fact that I've been picked by him, I was so happy. And I'm still listening listening to the video that I have on my cell phone that my girlfriend filmed during the, the event when he said, I'm going go to go with, with Gabriel Savage, Savage on, on that one. one. Man. It, it means a lot. I was really happy and like I'm living living the dream right now. <laughs> what would ten thousand dollars do for you, Gabe, and three months at the Nightmare Factory if you do end up winning Lit Academy? Man, it's like for me, if I can win this big contest, it's like winning the, the lottery. You know, uh, that would help me a lot. Um, like George said in the past, I'm still green the business. So then in those three months at the Nightmare Factory, uh, then in trained by QT Marshall, Billy Gunn, Cody Rhodes, all those big names, that would be awesome for my young career. And that would mean means the world to me. Yep. Um, I um, I stumbled upon uh, Jeremy Prophet told me he fought you uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, yep. in, independence, uh, in independent wrestling. Uh, can you talk to us the experience about wrestling Jeremy Prophet, the uh, first winner of Lit Academy? It was fun. I was tired as hell after the match, <laughs> but man, it was such a, a, a fun match. And Jeremy is such a good talent, good guy. He helped me to, to set up the match. He helped me through the match. And even after the match, he was there for me. So it was really, really fun, really, really nice. And I just have good things to say about Jeremy Prophet. Uh, Jeremy Prophet, you know what? He's a friend of the show. And, uh, and you know what? He's here to help uh, a lot of the Canadian wrestlers in Lit Academy. So like Jacques has always said, if you need a, a hand with anything, Jeremy is there to help and everything. And, and it shows that he helped you in that oh. match. And and he told me it was a great match. I'm still waiting for the footage. I would love to see that match. But um, going forward now, you're in a triple, uh, you're in a uh, three-man tag team match in the, in the, the semifinal can you give us a little insight on the the, the opponents you're going to be facing and your uh, and the people that are going to be on your team? I am teaming up with Bjorn Akin and Stephen Maines against uh, Jesse V, Sean Moore, and Maverick Wheeler. It's going to be a hard match. <laughs> it's going to be tough because the competition in the sem semifinal is crazy. But I'm confident in myself. I'm training real hard right now. I just hired a new uh, nutritionist. Wow. I have a new personal trainer. I'm training like a beast because I was happy with my shape uh, in May, but I want to be even bigger and even stronger in August because I want QT and Shanti, every, everybody to look at me and, and say, oh, damn, he's been working hard. He did the work. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's going to be a tough one. Uh, Jesse V, man, that guy is a monster. Sean Moore, I uh, never see, uh, never saw him like live, but I've seen the match on YouTube from the June 4th. So, yeah, he's a good talent as well. Maverick Wheeler, same thing. And on my team, uh, Stephen Maines, the guy looked like a like a it, god, sorry, a, chis <laughs> a, chiseled, a chiseled god, yeah, yeah, <laughs> guys, freaking shape and Bjorn. He's a big guy as well. So it's going to be a fun match. And I can't wait to be in the ring with those. Guys. Well, Jeremy Prophet guaranteed a winner from that match. And I was telling him that my picks were Bjorg and yourself and Jesse V, the three men right there. Um, as a big man uh, in there as well with the other big man, is it, is it a, an advantage or a disadvantage for you, uh, yeah, Gabe? I have to say, I think it's an adv advantage, yeah, for real. And like I said, we're all big guys. Like some are smaller than us, but they're they're fast, they're good. Uh, it's gonna be a hard choice for QT Marshall that night. But 
I'm sure he's gonna say my he, he will say my name after the match. I'm confident. Will you be having your manager there uh, in the second in the second round? Oh yeah, Michael. Oh yeah, Cole. oh yeah, he's he's going to be there with me, and he, I think he's pumped uh, as well. So he's looking forward to it to it to that. So yeah, he's gonna be there. Well, we had uh, well, we're, we're we are good friends with Shane Pinto here. He's the manager of Bjorg. So, do you have any words for uh, for uh, Bjorg and Shane Pinto? Uh, I know they're on your team for the next match. Hmm. I have to say that I respect Bjorg because he's on my team. But during that match, I will focus on myself because I will prove that I deserve. To move to the final i am the one with the less experience in all the competition i'm the one who was not even supposed to be chosen for that competition haters was talking a lot of crap about me being in that competition but in the quarterfinal i think i made a statement and i'm gonna make it an even bigger one in the semi-final and in the finals as well That's great to hear. That's great to hear. If if there's one last message you want to give to your your competitors out there in Lit Academy and all over the world, you have the floor, my friend. Give it out. The only thing I, I have to say is everybody's gonna say my name within the next year. They're, everyone's gonna know who's Gabriel Savage, and all the haters will ask to have me on their show, whatever, and I will be the winner of a the uh, loot academy 2023 well there you have it everybody there G gabriel savage get on the train right now follow him on social media gabe show tell us everywhere where everyone can follow you on social media your your uh your your facebook your instagram and if you have any twitter let them know where they can find you to follow you on your journey and to be the next loot academy winner on facebook uh, they can find me on my personal one gabriel Viano. Uh, they can find me on Gabriel Savage as well on Facebook, on Instagram. It's real Gabriel Savage. I don't have Twitter yet, but uh, I might create one. And so, yeah. Well, there you go, everybody. Follow him on his journey. My pick to be the next Lit Academy winner. Gabe, it's been a pleasure. I hope to see you. Obviously, I will see you August 20th. And I know I will see you in the finals at Lit Academy, holding up that big check and becoming the winner of Lit Academy. That's right. <laughs> Remember, wrestling is life. So, Joe Fo, I'm a gargle a shot for Kurt Hitting and everybody before we go. Oh, no. Joe Fo, thank you guys.